eBay offers the ability for a company to register as a buyer and a seller on the eBay site. In this movie, we're going to be going over the registration process for a business and seeing how it differs than that of an individual registration. From the ebay.com homepage, click on the register link here at the top of the page near the eBay logo. The first page you'll see is the registration page for an individual. There is a link that allows you to go to the company registration page and it takes you directly to the registration for a business. Fill in the required fields, making sure that you're entering a legal business name and your real personal information in the appropriate sections. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my company name and address and then my first and last name and my email address and then my phone number. Alternatively, you can put in a secondary optional phone number as well, such as a cell phone. Enter the verification code, which is a random number on the form to prevent automated computers from registering on the site. Go ahead and read over and accept the user agreement and privacy policy, and then check this box to accept them. Then click Continue. Select a user ID that you'll use on eBay. This user ID is how everyone on the site will identify your company, and it's your legitimate alias for eBay trading. Using an ID that is memorable can increase your brand awareness on the site as a company, and it's always a great idea to select an ID that contains your company name. Because there are so many millions of members on eBay, you may not always get the name you want, but you can always add some additional numbers to the ID, such as Acme Trading 2010, so that you can include the name of your company even if Acme Trading is already taken by another eBay member. I'm going to go ahead and put in mine. It's going to be Kindle Cause 1234. And that's available. Choose a secure password that's hard to guess but easy for you to remember. Go ahead and set up a security question and answer to assist you in recovering your account in case you lose your password or if eBay needs to identify you when you're calling customer support. I'm going to put in my pet's first name, Dory. Then click Continue. You will then receive a confirmation email. So you go over to your email and you look for the confirmation from eBay. And my registration is complete. In the email, click on the Activate Now button. You're now a registered business on eBay. There are some additional requirements to sell on the eBay site that go beyond registration. But we'll be talking about that later in the course. You'll need to provide a valid credit card, a debit card, a bank account, or have your identity verified. And then arrange with eBay to pay your seller fees. We're done with registration, and as a registered company user on eBay, you can start making purchases right away. But we're here to learn how to sell. So there are a few more steps that we'll need to complete in order to use this account that we've created so that we can list and sell things. The subject of eBay fees may feel a bit vague right now, and I know it is, but there are different kinds of fees for listing different kinds of items. Since you can list anything from houses to tchotchkes, eBay has different prices that they charge for the format and category of merchandise that you're selling. Don't worry, we'll be covering all of that later in this course as well.